What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fort Knox. In this video, we're going to be going over clan games in Clash of Clans. So if you guys are unfamiliar with clan games or had some questions about clan games, hopefully we can answer those questions within this video and you guys understand clan games a little bit more in Clash of Clans. So clan games is pretty much an event that occurs where you guys get challenges and that's what this event is all about. It's about completing challenges as a group in Clash of Clans. So pretty much you'll have a whole bunch of challenges laid out and everyone shares the same amount of challenges together and you guys pick and choose what challenges you guys are going to take to complete within a certain amount of time and every time you complete a challenge you'll be rewarded with clan games points which will eventually get you to a next tier and you'll be getting rewards. In summary once you reach the highest tier possible for your clan you'll then be able to collect rewards at the end of the games. There are a few requirements to participate in these clan games and the first requirement is you have to be a minimum town hall of town hall 6. Once you reach Town Hall 6, you'll be able to enter the clan games as well as you obviously need to be part of a clan because obviously it's called clan games. You need to be part of a clan, especially if you want to be successful in doing this. So pretty much in the first tab, you guys will have the challenges tab. And in this tab, you'll see those lists of challenges that you guys can complete. As I said before, all these challenges are the same for all the members of the clan. Once the challenge is taken by a member, a new challenge will take its place and that way you guys will never run out of challenges and there's constantly fresh new challenges being incorporated in the game at all times. Each challenge does have a time limit or duration you have to complete the challenge and each challenge has a different amount of points rewarded for completing it. The more difficult challenges tend to have the higher payout when it comes to clan games. A small tip that I have for you guys is for some reason I find when I'm playing clan games the higher paying challenges happen within the first day as well as if you are in a time crunch and need to get points banged out quickly I highly recommend you take the builder based challenges. The builder based challenges you guys can pop off really quick because you can attack very frequently so it won't take you a long time or eat up a lot of your time like the home village challenges would for many of the players in Clash of Clans. Some challenges you cannot complete but you can accept. For example, a Town Hall 6 might have a challenge where they need to use super wizards but they can't build super wizards and no one in the clan can build super wizards. So what you have to do is after a while you can actually trash the challenge. You can trash the challenge as soon as you accept it but then you will be put on a cooldown for a certain duration until you can accept the next challenge. This is super beneficial to be able to trash challenges especially if you're in a low level clan because that way you guys are getting rid of the challenges you guys cannot complete. If you are in a high level clan and can accept donations in this situation you may want to hold on to that challenge if it has a high enough payout but in most cases if you accept a challenge that you can't complete you'll be better off just trashing that and moving on to the next challenge. If you do take a challenge and you are able to complete it and it has a high payout you might want to consider extending the duration of time. If you don't beat the challenge within the duration of time the challenge will expire and you'll have two options. The first option is to trash the challenge which in most cases is not recommended if you've made decent progress on the challenge because your progress will remain if you were to extend the time. And that is the second option. You guys can pay a certain amount of gems to extend the time of the challenge so you have more time to complete that challenge. So the whole goal of this is to have enough points to unlock specific tiers. Each individual player within the clan, up to 50 players, can contribute 4,000 points. That means I can contribute 4,000 points towards the clan's total points. After that, I will not be able to complete any more challenges and I'll have to depend on my teammates to get the rest of the points to get to the next tier. There are six reward tiers and each tier has better and better rewards. Each tier has three reward options. Once you have reached or unlocked that tier, you will be able to select one of these three options as your reward at the end of the clan games. Reaching your maximum contribution of 4,000 points will allow you to unlock one bonus reward. This bonus reward will allow you to select one bonus reward from any one tier within the game. You can collect this bonus reward after you've collected the base rewards you've earned. Remember, you do have to maximize your contribution of 4,000 points before doing so. As long as you contribute any amount of points, you will be rewarded the base tier rewards that your clan has unlocked. For example, let's just say my clan got to the fifth tier in clan games and I only generated 250 points for my clan. I will still be able to get a reward from each tier, all five tiers that my clan has unlocked. 
even though I didn't contribute a lot, I'll still count as a contribution and be able to get that reward as a collective. A uh, small side note I want to make here is the maximum amount of members that can contribute to clan games is 50 members. Any more than that, you will not be able to have contribute towards the clan games. Something that's really important for smaller clans is that you'll need 13 players or clan mates total in the clan to reach the maximum tier of the sixth tier. If you want to get them all unlocked, you'll have to have 12 of those players max their clan games contribution at the 4000 and have one of those players hit half. So as long as you have 13 active members that will max their contributions, you guys will be able to reach that sixth tier for your bonuses and get the highest tier bonus within the game. When we go ahead and look at the clan tab, you'll be able to see each player's contribution for that clan games. And then at that point, it will go by who hit the highest contribution first. So first player to get the 4,000 will stay at the first place, second player will stay at third place, and so on and so forth. There's no extra reward for getting there before anybody else. It's just kind of like bragging rights and allows clan members or co-leaders and leaders to see who's actually contributing in the clan games to see whether or not you should be keeping these players or not. So it's super important that you make sure that you at least contribute some so your clan leaders know that you are an active member within the clan. So now that you've completed all your clan games challenges, you've maxed out your contribution, it's now time to actually go ahead and claim your clan games rewards. After the clan games end, you will have seven days to collect these rewards. Once the seven days are up, these clan games rewards will disappear forever and you will not have the opportunity to claim them any longer. This means you will not be able to get any of the rewards. I've done this myself. Please do not forget to claim your rewards within the seven days. I know it's hard because you might be trying to time when you accept these rewards based on your season pass. It's super important that you just try to claim them as soon as possible. And I know it's unfortunate that you have to claim all six tiers at once and then you can claim the sixth bonus reward later on but it's super important that you get this because i wouldn't want you guys to miss out on the rewards that you work so hard to obtain as i said before the six tier base rewards will need to be claimed all at once and then that bonus reward will be able to be claimed separately from the rest of the rewards a special side note for town hall sixes they don't have access to dark elixir so in most cases dark elixir will be replaced within the reward tiers with gold or elixir at a higher equivalent or as well in some special cases it will actually replace it with magic items which is super beneficial to those players that need those magic items to help progress throughout the game after the clan games end as well, your clan will be rewarded with clan points. The more members that contribute, the more clan points you guys will earn. So please, please, please actually contribute in the clan games. It helps your whole clan move forward and progress as a whole. So if you guys want to check out when the next clan games is going to be, it usually will appear within like seven days or so in the events tab in the bottom right hand corner. You'll be able to go there, scroll all the way down. And you'll be able to see the events tab. And then when the clan games actually are about to start within seven days, again, you'll get like a little cart that appears there there'll be a box with a letter on top of it if you click that box it will tell you how long till the clan games are there you'll see the little strong man there I call him Ivan the little strong man there holding his log saying clan games are about to get begin and then when the games begin the caravan will actually be there and you'll be able to click it and start the clan game so that's how you get into all these tabs that's how you get into starting the clan games is you click that caravan and when it appears and the event will be there for you guys to claim your rewards so hopefully this video helps you guys overall learned a little bit about clan games if you're new to the game if you like the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching